Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this propeller router blade in AutoCAD. So let's get started. So for the first step, let's go to the frame view. And now let's use the line command and create a vertical line. Uh, we just study unit. Now let's create a horizontal line, uh, which is 20 unit, I mean 10 unit. And let's create one more line right here. Now let's use the ask command. We just start and radius. Click on this end point and this end point and type 50. Now let's use the offset command and type 5 for the offset extent. And select this and offset to the inside. And let's use the trim command. Trim this line and this line. Okay, and now let's use the join command. Select this all to join it. Okay, now let's use the revolve command and select this object. Hit the enter and click two times along this vertical line and hit the enter again. And now let's go to the front view again. And here you need to create a 2D rectangle sketch, which I have already done it. You can create this rectangle by using own dimension. Now let's uh, use the move command. Click on this center of the geometry and move it on the midpoint of this vertical line. And now let's use the line command. Let's start from the midpoint of this line. And let's create a 100 unit line along y direction. Now let's use the sweep command. Select this rectangle and hit enter. Now use the twist command. And put the angle any more you want. I'm going to type 95. And choose scale. And let's type 2.5 for the scale header. Now select this line. Now let's go to the solid tab and use the fill edge command. Select this vertical edges and hit enter. Now let's uh, play the amount radius that you want. Okay, this is the way I went. Now let's use the circular pattern or circular array. Select this and hit enter. Now let's click on the center of this object. And let's change the number item to 3. And hit enter again. Now let's combine all these. Now let's use the cylinder command and create a cylinder at the center uh, with a radius of 5. And now use the subtract command, select this object, enter and select this and hit enter again. Now let's go to the top view. And let's create some cylinder and rectangle, I mean box, to create the opening for the bonnet and key slot. You can use your own animation to create this all, okay? Now let's move this all to the inside. 
Okay, now let's use a subtract command. Select this main body and hit enter and select this full object. And hit enter. Now, if you want to, you can fill out all these edges with your own radius value. So, take your time to do it. So, that's all, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel. And see you in the next tutorial.